get to uh, Bears Ears yes. and to the Public Lands Initiative, yeah. those two things kind of in contrast in your district, yeah. what's going to happen? Is there going to be a national monument? I hope not. It would be devastating for Southern Utah and for the state of Utah. I think it's patently unfair to have one person just designate what could be a million. Why, why acres. devastating? What would devastate? Because people, you've got to understand that if you designate it as wilderness, you can't go ride your bike there. You can't go uh, ride your ATV. I think a lot of people on the Wasatch Front say, oh, it'd be great, let's you know protect it, and then we can go down there and, and uh, go camping. You won't be able to do that. So um, we're trying to find a more balanced type of approach. We've taken every end of the spectrum from energy development and outdoor recreation and the environmentalists. We've worked in the county by county from the bottom up. We've had more than 2,000 meetings on this to try to find some balance. There are some protections that are needed, mm -hmm. but to have 1.9 million acres set aside unilaterally by the president, that, that's not the right way to do this. Let's do it in an open and transparent way. And, through a congressional way and give the local Navajo Nation more insight and more say in how that land is managed. We can do that, the president can. We've got to get you back here sooner. Okay, there, there's too, there's yeah. too, too much to talk about and we're out of time. So thanks so much for, thanks, uh, thanks, for dropping in. Absolutely.